Thanks for watching. Get ready for some twisted affairs because the lies, schemes, and betrayals by the guests on today's show make the characters on a daytime soap opera look like Mother Teresa. <laughs> Please welcome Javante to the show. Javante, how you doing, man? What's going on, Jill? All right. Now, first of all, we have a significant person in isolation. Her name is Honey. She can't see, can't hear anything. Oh, and you're, you're engaged to Honey, correct? Yes, I am. And you love Honey. I love Honey with all my you heart. You get some Honey. And she and you honey. love honey. She got some honey. But. There's no but. But you're here <laughs> to reveal a secret. And yes, what is I that am, secret? Bill. Bill, I'm here to tell honey today. She's been my fiance. We've been dating for three years now. And I've been sleeping with our best friend for two years. So you've been sleeping with yeah, honey's uh, best friend for how long? Two whole years. Two whole years. And he's, it's a guy. So. Uh, no, no, let's go a little no, more slow no. now. <laughs> you've, been with, you've, been in, you've been with honey for three years. Three years. And you're sleeping with her best friend since for two years. Since diapers, since diaper days. Diaper days. Diaper days. And her years. best friend is a male. Is a male. Listen here, Gio. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Gio. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Gio. It's not like that. It's though. not it's like not that. that. I was taking advantage of him. I was taking advantage of I was taking advantage of Wait a minute, wait a minute. I, I, I explained no, to me. Yeah, no. You say you were taking... She, now, how he, tall he are you? You were taking of, advantage, advantage of, right? Of, he took advantage of He took advantage of you. Advantage it was of your, It was your first gay encounter. My first gay encounter. But it's been going on. For two years now. Tell me how it He's began. He's been blackmailing me, man. Seriously. All right, like this Christmas, I just went and bought her a car, a Mercedes LS550. And then I just went ahead and bought him an Audi A8. He's Christmas. blackmailing you? Yes, he's blackmailing me. He lets it be known that he lets it be known that if I don't if I don't do certain things, man, he's gonna tell her. I don't want him to tell her. I love her. So I you're want, telling me I he's like blackmailing he you? Me, yeah. What if what have you bought him off with? Oh man, yesterday I just bought him a twelve hundred dollar bag. Twelve hundred dollar purse. Yesterday. He and took that was the purse. Yesterday. He took the purse. Cars, cars, trips, he's vacations. He's going to Jamaica. He's going to Jamaica. This Jamaica. Summer. Yeah. And it's all under the that. deal, though. If, 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 as long as I don't say anything, as long as he doesn't say, say nothing, then I'll just do what he say do. Do and you enjoy? For it. I, I, don't, I do enjoy it a little bit. You do enjoy it a little, a little bit. bit a little but bit. it's your. But you blame him but for I wanna, this. I do blame him for you it. You blame I, him. I want to leave with her. I'm leaving with her. I proposed to her. Are we supposed to get married this summer? And I'm just really ready to just like. I love her with all my heart. So, Javante, you also say you're not gay, but you have gay sex. Yeah. I'm not gay. I'm really not gay. No, it's only him. It's only him. It's only him. It's only him. Nobody else but just him. Just him. So you're exclusive. You're ex we're just exclusive. Just us. I mean, we had times where, like, one time we was at my house, and we were chilling in my pool room, and right before she came in, we was having sex, and then she came in, and then we had to hurry up and get dressed, and she walked in like, what the is going on? And I'm like, man, nothing. You know what nothing. I'm saying? Yeah. One time we had planned for like three weeks to go ahead for her mom. It came to town. We had planned for three weeks to, you know, do things. We had a dinner together, and I ended up sleeping with him. He told me if I leave, then he was going to tell her, so I didn't go. But you still, I mean, you're, you're a grown man. Can't you yeah, come I'm a clean grown man. with honey? No, I can't. She's crazy. She's crazy? Yeah, she's crazy. When you see her, she's crazy. It, I hope you got security here because she's crazy when I tell her. As I, I understand I'm, I'm it. I'm way scared of her. I'm really scared You're scared of, of honey. Yeah, I love her though with all my You're scared heart. of honey. I'm scared of honey. You have a tattoo, is that correct? I have a tattoo. You have Josh. And I don't even have her name. But she has the ring, though. She has the ring. She's got the ring. She got the ring. So let me ask you this. Oh, God. When, when you're intimate with honey... Right. And there's Josh's name on your body. Well, I told her that's my dear uncle's name. It's an uncle. Yeah. He's supposed to get a tattoo if I leave her. You he's, keep he's digging gonna deeper, say, don't you? Digging deeper. He's going to get a tattoo that says, love Javante. But I, I mean, you know, I messed up. That's why I need you. That's why, that's I why came, you're here. I came here for you And you feel me. safe in this environment. I, I, I feel safe with you right here. I'm running with you. you I'll look at this I'm, right here, man. Okay. That's what's up, man. I can, I can take care of you. I hope so. But you're a little worried. I you're a little so. worried. I'm, You're I'm, worried. I'm, I'm, worried. I'm All worried right. about him, too, though. Let's get it on. <laughs> Who's been in isolation, hasn't seen or heard anything, please welcome Javante's fiance, Honey, to the show. Honey, come on out. I understand it. You think you might be here because the original proposal wasn't as good. You.
Excuse me. You messed up. Yeah. So you want a big proposal. All right, Javante. Yes. Let me turn things over to you, honey. Oh, God. Been together three years. You're in love with each other. Honey, look to your right. Look to your left, Javante. The stage is yours. I love you, right? Mm -hmm. Talk up. With all my heart. All right? I love you with all my heart. Okay, then. No, for real. Listen to me, for real. So I've been cheating on you for the last two years, right? <laughs> And I just so want you to know, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, listen, 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 I want to go ahead and clean so the slate, listen, 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 I want to clean the slate, you feel me, we're going to get married this summer, the person gonna, is no, here, you listen, 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 no, 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 listen, listen, we're going to get married this summer, right, you tell me you're, you're going to go home with me, right, you told me that, you told me this, listen, the person is here, you told me you're going to go home with me, just calm down, the person is here, hold on, you told me you're going to go home with me, just calm down, no, you're going to bring me on TV to tell me that you're going to go home, no, I could, hold on, hold on, whoa, 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 where's the security, get off me, I told you get security, get you better get off me. No, no, I'm, I'm telling you. No, calm Honey, down. Listen, let's no, make it no, no, Javante. No, 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 let's bring out the person. No, 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 let's bring out the person that Javante is cheating with and having an affair with. Come on out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I love you, honey. Listen to me. So you like boys. <laughs> I no, love you. No, I don't. I, I don't. don't. So you well, don't let me talk to her. Blame me for real, so man. You for don't real. Like Can I talk to you? I don't. Let me talk to you. Don't touch me. But wait a minute. Don't touch me. So let me. No, hold on. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I want to tell you what's going so on. You deserve to know. You need to hear from me. Man, I got, you need to I hear from me. You. I got this so, one. But let me so tell you something, so honey. This is my sister. Come here. Come on. Can everybody We were just together. We were just together. Josh. Last night. I need to tell you everything. That's wrong. That's wrong. Tell her everything, Josh. Tell her everything. I was here last night. That's wrong. We were together last night. That's wrong. He's paying my rent. That's wrong. He's he bought me an Audi. Yes, he bought me an Audi. I'm going this way, bitch. I don't know. I can't believe this. I cannot, be I cannot believe Well, you knew what was going on, what was going yeah, on. Yeah, between us two, I knew what Are I you in love with Javante? Yes, I am. You I each other. I love him. Yes, I do. Do you want to marry him? I want him to get his thoughts together. I want him to know what he wants. I want him to understand what he wants. This honey, is obviously honey, a under construction you, you, You've got to know the truth. Josh, let, give honey. Josh the floor. Hold on, Javante. You, Josh hadn't spoken. You tell Honey your feelings toward her fiancé. Josh. I love him. I do love him. And it might have been just a, you know, a situation. But it's not sick for me, honey. I know what I'm going through, honey. I know what it is. Obviously, clearly, I'm not in that situation. You two are best friends. How can you do that to your best friend, Josh? It wasn't a thought. It was he, in the heat he, of the he, moment. He, listen, he. The sex appeal he, was definitely he is good, there. Man, I'm trying. Listen, he did this. Now ain't me. I'm trying to tell you. He took advantage of me. I'm telling you, I was drunk. He one said night. I took advantage. He took of him. I was drunk. One. I looked. Do I look party. like I need to take advantage of When we had the party, we had the we had the big party, and he was mm -hmm. hosting. Hello. He got me drunk, he and he did. Of you. He did. He, he did. He did. What you, he got, you No, I didn't. I was drunk. You wanted to do it. I was drunk. But it's been going on for two years. He keeps two years. He don't tell you. Hold on, let me talk. He's black man. 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 I have an Audi A8. That was water, right, Bill? That was water. It is a pleasure to meet you, by the way. Nice to meet you, Joe. Thanks else for else having me. Well, let's do this. A lot more Twisted Affairs coming up right after this. Yeah. I'll try to work it out later, man. Are you okay? I'm cool. Man. I just want to be with her, man. But is she like this violent all the time? No, she don't act like this. She's sweet, but I know she can turn. She can turn like this. Yeah, but you said she was going to turn. She, she was, I knew she was going to act crazy. I knew she was going to act crazy. I mean, that's her best friend. I understand that. I accept full responsibilities everything. You feel me? But I just want to go home with her, man. I, 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 don't, I don't want this. Later, I get, make I a picture get married. because I think, number one, if she knows the whole truth, there's more likely to move forward in an honest relationship. Well, for two years, it wasn't one time. It was two years. Long time. Right? All right, man. We'll see if we can do it. The ultimate betrayal. Pretty much, I'm here because I think that my wife is cheating with my stepson because they're around the same age. Oh, wow. Your wife and your stepson, are, you think, are having sex. Is it true? Are you stupid for accusing me of cheating? Today's show is all about twisted sexual affairs, and my next guest says it can't get any more twisted than what he thinks his wife is doing and who he thinks she's doing it with. Whoa.
Please welcome Martin to the show. Martin, how you doing? What's up, little girl? All right. You've been married for how long? I've uh, been married for four years, four and a half years. And uh, you have kids? Yeah, I have one step, well, I have step kids. Done. And you, you and Evanda are in love. You've been married. Ceremony, the whole deal. The whole nine. Did all of it. Right. And Why are you here? Well, pretty much I'm here because I think that my wife is cheating with my stepson because they're around the same age. Oh, wow. Wow. Your wife and your stepson, are, you think, are having sex? Yeah. Why do you say that? I say it because it's just stuff out of the ordinary. My wife doesn't wear lingerie regularly around, around me, but now since he's been there, she's wearing lingerie around the house. But when I come in, she's changing the sweatpants and grandma pants. Really? You know. So you invited so, your stepson in with you because he was having some difficulties. He was having some difficulties. He said, come on in with daddy. We'll, we'll, we'll take care of you there. Yep. What else is going on? Uh, well, hey. they just got too close. I mean, usually you expect your stepkids not to like your wife. You know, same old, same old. But they just got too chummy. You sit up watching Netflix, doing puzzles, uh, just taking selfies, just random, random stuff. And you you've know, raised him since, since he was 10. Uh, there was a was shower incident, wasn't there? Yeah. Tell me about the shower. The shower incident was where I, came, I go out clubbing a lot with my people, my family or whatever. And I come in 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. And print, my wife is on, the, is on the couch. I get in the house. My wife is on the couch, and he's in the shower. Now, that's 1, 1 a.m., 2 a.m., who takes a shower at that time? Unless you just get uh, unless you just getting off work. Yeah. Or you just got through you just got through finagling somebody. What'd you say? What'd you say when you come home and she's on the couch looking a certain way and your stepson's in the shower? What'd you say to her? What'd you say to Evanda? What'd you say to your wife? I pretty much asked what she was doing out there and then went and hollered at him and asked him, Well, it's one of the morning, two in the morning. Why are you in the shower? Why are you I mean you What'd she say? Today. He said he felt dirty. He felt he was, dirty at one o'clock. You know, or he was dirty, something like that. He, and, and these two have inside jokes together. Yeah, they, you know, just be kikiing and ha ha all the time. And I'm kikiing, ha ha. Yeah, you know, when you laugh, kikiing, kikiing, ha ha ha. You know, yeah. type of, you know, type of thing. And you're yeah. sitting, you feel like a third wheel in this deal. I, I feel like I'm the step kid in the relationship or something. Like, you know, why am I getting put out to the side for y'all to enjoy y'all so? So, and how's the relations between you two? Aren't what they used to be? No, I used to. You, I might look at about. Ten times a week, you know, two days at a time, something like that. But now it's went from ten times a week to maybe three times, maybe two times, and then or it's getting hit on the calendar. If I Monday, Wednesday, Friday, the Tuesday, Thursday, you know, it's like <laughs> special. I mean, you know, like you know, you give two dollar two dollar Tuesday at churches. Two dollar Tuesday, yeah. You know, who no. need a special? So what happens if uh, Evanda flunks the lie detector and she's having sex with her stepson in your home, man. in your bed, man. when you're not there? Look, I'm like a, I'm like an NFL field goal kicker, man. It's all good. They pull it. I'm both of them getting good. the boot. You're good. You're gonna go. Both of them getting the boot. All right, please welcome Martin's wife, Evanda, the show. Evanda, come on out. I, what? You stupid for accusing me of cheating in the first place, and then I'm cheating with your son. Okay, that's not my fault. If y'all look, like, look like y'all cheating, y'all cheating. Point blank. How do we look like we cheating? Because, because we get a love? Yeah. <laughs> what? A, you're choked up over this. What? A, sit down, honey. Right. Yeah, sit what down, about sit the booty? What about that lingerie and those booty shorts that you're wearing? He don't pay attention to me when I'm in him. Yes, like, you yes, don't pay no attention to me. I could walk around the house butt naked and you won't pay no attention to me. That's At least lie. when I wear the lingerie around Prince, he covered his eyes. At least he's oh, seen no. it. Oh, you do that on purpose. That. Around Prince, you wear that stuff. He don't cover his eyes. He's the one that brought somebody into my house. He put glasses in like Ray Charles. He ain't covering his eyes. You the one that brought somebody else into our house. It's my son. If he needs somewhere to stay. It's my house. I'm going to dress comfortably in my house. At least my private part's covered. You act like I'm all right, when man, you were yeah, sick right, recently, the, did Prince, the stepson, did he like rub your forehead and right. rub your neck? I mean, Prince like is I taking said, care of you. Mine don't pay no attention to me. When, like, he go out all the time. He accusing me of cheating, but he the one that's always going out. You the one always I gotta go out. out. Y'all don't wanna you go out with me. You the social butterfly. You Facebook and yeah, everything. Facebook. You Mr. the social Facebook. butterfly. So, okay, I'm in the house. I'm chilling with Prince. Somebody gotta pay attention. I'm not Doesn't just Doesn't Prince treat you right? Doesn't Prince say you're beautiful? Exactly. You look that's great. That's, Prince treats you right. He that sounds like, like, he like it's something. I'm beautiful. I mean, he makes you me smile. Like it's I'm down. What? Prince put me back up. He do what I, what, he he don't, he do what I don't do. So you're saying your husband tears you down and Prince builds you back Prince up. Prince builds me back up. So you say your damn Lego set, no, man. That's, no. That's are you sex with Prince? Of course not. Did you take the lie detector? Yes, I did. Are you going to pass the lie detector? Are you going to pass 
pass the test. Are you going to pass right, it? Right, I'm going to pass it. Are, are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Are you sure? All right. All right. You said you're going to you pass yeah, it. I'm you said you're going to pass it. I'm going to yeah. take the word. Tell me about this. So what about the shower I mean, incident when you're on the couch and Prince is in the shower lathering up? Me and Prince are night owls. Martin go to sleep about 8 o'clock. And like you two are together. And me and Prince stay up till about 4 in the morning. Maybe 12. Not no 8. We stay up till about 4 in the morning. We play games. We play video games. He's trying to turn me into a Lil Wayne fan. So we listen to music while we doing puzzles. I mean, but, I mean he don't like playing games. That? He don't like did doing that. Did you cheat stuff. earlier in the marriage? Did you cheat? Who did what now? Did you cheat in the marriage earlier? Yes, he did. I got to. You, I, you got yeah. caught. Yes, Man, he did. Yeah, I, I pulled it. I ain't, I'm about to say I got an inner ear problem. You got to talk on the other side. You got an inner ear problem. Yeah, he ain't paying attention to me the whole first year of our How marriage. How hurt it was were you? Up. So he messed around the first year. It was messed up. He accusing me of cheating, and he just back and forth, back and forth. He still go out anytime he want. He don't pay attention to me. I mean, why you mad? Cause don't you like Prince a little? You like to be with to Prince. You like yes, to talk to him. Yes, I do. I like share to feel the young. Man. You feel he, young. Because of your age. Because yeah. right. of your age. So no. what that mean? He, he got an old soul. Martin has an old soul. So he's, what, 30-something? But he act like he's 50 So he's, he's like the something? Temptations and Prince is like I little mean, Wayne. I mean, yes. When I'm yep. around. That's right. Yep. Yeah, the, yep. What's yes. wrong with good music? Ain't too proud to beg. Ain't too proud to beg. Real. When I'm around him, I got to You love Prince. You like being around him. You exchange. Yes. I can act my... Act Why not just sleep age. with them then? You're the same age. Why would I do that? That's my stepson, brother, cousin. My stepson, brother, cousin. Your brother, cousin. Your step my stepson, brother, cousin. Your stepson, brother, cousin. Yes, because we're the same age. I'm not gonna call him son. He and my brother. He and my cousin. But he and my stepson, brother, cousin. So if you fail the line attack, you're sleeping with your stepson, brother, cousin. If you fail. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and that's bad. Be nasty. That's no, no, I'm not. Stuff. How would you feel? How would you feel? <laughs> Look at that look. Look at that look. How would you feel if she's sleeping with your stepson, who's also brother cousin? How would you feel about it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, Not good. No, nah, right. It wouldn't it'd be it's a over. It's a wrap. It's anywhere it goes, it's gone. It's a wrap. It's over. I wouldn't feel it good. It hurt. But I feel better once I get both of them gone. Both of them gone. All right, guess what's coming up next? Prince is here. Prince is here. Stay right there. A confrontation you can't miss. I'm just, I'm just saying, how you don't talk? Don't stand up. Stand down. I'm saying, don't stand up. Stand down. Stand down. Stand down. Like cheating evidence. He came in and said something. What was y'all doing in the back? And I'm like, oh, you get busy. Right. All right. And I said that. Start counting. Sarcast... Today's about possible twisted sex affairs. You two have been together for seven years, married for four. Yep. And you love each other. You're going through a lot together, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But but the, the stepson is from another relationship that you've been raising for the last 10 or 15 years. Yep. And uh, you would be hurt to your core if It'd your stepson... It would be hurt to my core, man. Mm -hmm. That's, I mean, that was my, like my, that's my first set of kids. I got... I got all four of them. Got their back. That annoy me. Ain't nothing else gonna change. You should have kept that part separate. If you got grown kids, you automatically think they ain't gonna get along with me. You should have kept that part separate. Well, we were Amanda, in age. You took no the lie detector, no to right? You took it. Wasn't no way to keep it separate. Please welcome Martin's stepson, Prince, to the show. Prince, come on out. All right, Martin, man. First of all, what makes you think I'm flipping well, man? How you don't trust me, though? First of all, you didn't I'm just, I'm just saying, how you don't trust me, though? Don't you stand up. Stand man. down. I'm saying, don't stand up. Stand down. You raised me, right? Yeah, you already know. Right, so what makes you think I'm flipping with her? Man, you boy, you please. Know your other I don't, don't trust like you, her, right? Right, but I don't trust and you. What else I can throw you for? Is that? Don't treat her with respect. What you mean? Come on, man. Respect, man. There's no respect right there, G. Let's talk. Let's talk. Let me get some facts. Y'all too close. Come on, man. It don't matter. She's 26, ain't she? Yeah, they 25. Uh huh. What do you like? But you cut her off. What are you massaging her? Come on, man. That don't mean I'm doing anything. Look at this. I'm not You beautiful today. Who ain't gonna wanna come? You live in a one bedroom apartment, right? Don't you live in a one bedroom? We stay in a one bedroom apartment. I'm on. I'm on the couch, Bill, because I'm going through some stuff right now. Yeah. But at the end of the day, they in the room most of the time watching TV and Do you whatnot. understand that, Amanda? Amanda's so walking around in booty shorts in front of you and lingerie. Bill, when, he she, do when, that. She, when she do that, I'm going to go like this. You do and like that. I'm not going to be joking or whatever the case is. But I, I, swear, I swear, I swear, you know. No sex with her. No, no sex. Nothing sexual. We go out. He said we don't, you two he said go, we don't out go out together. because we don't like going out to no, the club and whatnot. A, I'm young, I like to together. chill, I like to do puzzles, you know, whatever, whatever the stuff is, you know. So when we go out, it just kills me when I come back and he feel like, you know, what y'all was doing. Why you in the shower? Talking about I was in the shower. Why were you in the shower? Why, why was you in the shower? Because I ain't normal. take a shower that night, you know. <laughs> so so you ain't take a shower that whole day. The it's 24 day. hours in the day. I mean, so I you I waited mean, to the 25th hour I mean, to take a damn shower? I mean, I'm like, well. 
Well, I mean, we from Chicago, man, so I don't go to sleep until late, so I don't feel like, okay, exactly. when I, when I take a shower, I'm getting out, I'm going to sleep. That's it. I'm not going to stay up or anything like that. So, you know, the thing that I'm doing, anything with Evander. Then you and joked I, to him about having sex at one point. Nah, you that went, you joked about it. It, it was a joke. He, he, joked he, like he, that. Came, he came in and said something. What was y'all doing in the back? And I'm like, oh, we was messing around. You're you know? getting busy. <laughs> right, right. And I said that sarcastically. But yeah, he kind of half believed it. That look in his eye, he believes it. He believes it. I mean, it. he could believe it, but we had a day to find out the truth. Normally, we wait until oh, the end of the show. You know, and you I, hope, I hope you do good. It don't matter. I hope y'all well. It don't matter. Yeah. It don't matter. I, I, hope, I hope it come I mean, out right. You, I hope it come out when y'all ain't doing nothing. Look, I'll give you 100. Y'all ain't doing nothing, and this test come, come out that Biff, it's cool. He's been raised me since I was 12. It's good. Man, I'm sorry. This is your daddy. This is your daddy. Exactly. I consider him my dad. 10, 15 years with him. I'm talking about I was 12. Didn't know nothing. He raised me. When he first got with her, ain't nobody like her. I came exactly. in and was like, I ain't got no problem with her. We're gonna, I, I'm gonna, we on. normally do this at the end of the I'm going to do the lie detector right now. But everyone agrees to stay in your seat. All right, let's see those results. I got the lie detector right here. Let's see those results. Yeah. I still got to stay in my seat if you don't sit in your chair, though, right? You got to stay in your seat, which is now right there. Evanda, here All we right. go. We asked you only two questions. <laughs> two questions. All right. Are you ready? I'm ready. Evanda, in the past two years, have you had sexual relations with anyone other than Martin? And I said no. You said no, and that was a lie. For real? Wait a minute. You said to, for real? You said to stay in your seat. All right. We got all number right. two. All right. Number all right. two, Evanda, have you ever had, wrong. have you ever had sexual contact with your husband's stepson, Prince? You said no. And that's the truth. That was a lie. Have you two kissed and snuggled and held each other? I put that on my phone. Maybe a little bit. None. Nothing. Nothing. Give him the test. Give him the test. Give him the test. Not intercourse, it was sexual contact. Ain't no type of sexual contact. Nothing. I understand, Martin. And let's just say this. It wasn't intercourse, it was contact, man. No, I want you to do that. You can't do that. Your eyes. I mean, about that. Pretty, pretty much. Contact your eyes. So if she felt that way, then, you know. I mean, that's strong. I mean, I mean there was, there was, was lust in your heart, man. There was lust. Sexual contact is a different question. I mean, that's a different well, you, thing. You lied about I mean, when Martin is around, when Martin is around, me and cool my mind, sisters, I got a big sister. I mean, he'll grab cool. her booty and grab my booty it's and walk cool. down the street like he missed a big pimping. I mean, that's sexual contact, right? I mean, I do this. I got all good. I do that too. I got baby on the way. I still, I still got a beautiful wife. Yeah. I, I still, I still got a son. It is what it is. We get back to the crib. It is what it is. She, it's no problem. Says you, sexual contact. She lied about Prince. contact with Said Prince. no. That's okay. a lie. And sexual said no, relations. That's a lie. Yeah. Can I get a copy of that? You, you will. I don't uh, want to cause uh, any uh, problem. Uh, There's another doozy on deck. Stay right there. I want to say it's a done deal, but you're supposed to be married for life. But my son got to go. I got another choice. Is she cheating on her current husband with her ex? Learn how to trust your wife. Mm -hmm. I do. I, I, don't, you I don't trust. I do There's trust no Megan. Not to I don't trust me. you. For sexy shockers. Oh, oh, where do I go? It's wrong. Where do I go? Can't miss confessions. If you had to choose, Javante, between Josh and... When it comes to twisted affairs, my next guest says the only thing that's twisted are her husband's outlandish accusations. Please welcome Megan to the show. Megan, how you doing? Hi, I'm great. How you doing? Hi, Megan. Okay. Why are you here today? I'm here today because I want to prove my innocence to my husband. He keeps thinking I'm cheating with my ex. I had a daughter about 19 years ago with my ex, Mike, and ever since then, my uh, husband now thinks I'm cheating because I bought a house for him. Now, why'd you buy a house for your ex when you didn't have to? Because I wanted a rental income, and uh, this way I can make money, and I rent bought it not just for Mike, but for his family. He has a girlfriend, and he has Here's the house children. that you bought for your ex. Yes. And you go over there quite a bit. You yes, well, communicate with Mike the last few years because you had 
a, a teenage girl. You were raising together. Oh yes, yeah. And so you're close to Mike. Yes. And you and you text and talk and you visit each other and all yes. that kind of stuff. Yes. Well, once we bought the house, we started spending a lot more time together because it it needed a lot of work. And you're over there. Paying some money, taking care of renovations, yes. getting everything yes. together Painters with and your ex. Yes, and and moldings need to be done, and bathrooms need to be done. So I you're mean, close to your ex. Yes. Have you ever had sexual relations with your ex since you and Dave have been married? No, no. no. And you've been married how long? Uh, we've been married pretty well. We've been together since 2002. So it's been about 12, 12 13. Years. It's a yeah. long time. Yes. So where do the suspicions arise? Uh, after I bought the house. Um, oh, well... We did have a little tip. In 2008, my husband and I, um, the relationship was really bad. And he was, we didn't have a marriage basically anymore. He was always staying in the basement, having his friends over, having drinks with them, wasn't even coming up to bed. You know, I felt lonely, and you got unappreciated. Divorced. Yes, I. And then you had a one night stand. Uh, no, I had a one night stand. That led to the divorce. That led to the divorce. Yes. And then you got remarried. So it yes. was marriage, divorce, remarriage. Yes. And, and you loved this man. Yes. You loved him. Yes. And now you're here to get what? You, you want to prove to your husband that you're not having sex with the ex. Yes, that's what I want to prove because I, I'm not doing it. And he's always, I think because of the one night stand from years ago, he thinks I would do that again and I, I'm not. And I just want him to know that I love him and only him and that's it. All right, guess what? Your husband and the ex-husband are both here. Please welcome Megan's husband, Dave, to the show. Dave, come on out. We're gonna find You're the out. Only one I she want. has she has a lot of excuses. You are the of only excuses. one I want. She has a tremendous amount of excuses. She goes out food shopping, comes back four hours later with no food. Goes uh, to do work at the that's house. That's not even true. She goes no. to do work at the house. Yes. I'll be home in an hour. Comes back three, four hours later. Oh, well, the one time my late. car battery died. The battery died. It takes six hours to jump a car, jump start a car. So he always has excuses for. Lot, it's always excuses. two, three, four. Why'd you remarry her if you have all these suspicions? Well, yeah. I do love Megan. And you love uh, Megan. this relationship has to work. We want to yes. make it work. But, it's going you know, to. we're going to find out. It's suspicions, though. Out. It's suspicions. Yeah. It's a, it's a, yes. And it's always the excuses just always seem really vague. And, I'll be know, home at two. She comes home at six without an explanation where yeah, she was for four like hours. That. When, uh, when he calls, uh, he calls her up, and uh, what happens is she just gets up and walks out of the room all of a sudden. That's you know, because you're has... watching TV. I do that when anybody <laughs> calls. Out of respect for him. Room. Yeah. Yeah. And you want a secret conversation. Yeah, but she talks no. on the phone to other people. She's sitting right there yapping away on the phone. What'd you think about when she bought her ex that house and the renovations? What'd you think well, about Well, it's that? good because, you know, it's rental income. It's money for us. Yeah, exactly. But it's money. She was so adamant about moving him into the house. It had to be him and his family. That's uh, because I want to give them a nice kids, house. We take his kids on vacation. His yeah, daughter, I love yeah. his kids. Not, not, I'm the not my stepdaughter. Of his youngest not my, his other children that he has. You know, he's got he's got like five kids with six different women. He's a serial <laughs> that's, cheater. That's not even. Uh, is he spending him. more time with your wife than you're spending? Does he a spend more quality time? He's spent, no, I hope not. They, she better not. No that's quality not. time. No, no he better not be spending. Only yeah, she took a lot of time. Yeah, we don't yes. hang out. Yeah, we're gonna find out those results. I can't. What's your relationship like with 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 Mike now? It's. It's trying because you know why is why are you borrowing his kids? Why do we? Why do I, I have love to take the kids. his children it doesn't mean on I vacation? Love Mike. I gotta pay to take his little, kids on vacation. Little Mikey. You love little Mikey. Yeah. You see Mike and little Mikey. Yeah, little Mikey's my no ball. I always I'll take little Mikey and I'll take him. I won't stay and hang out at the house yeah, with you know, Mike. I would take I'll him take on vacation. His kid. Yeah, we take him on vacation. <laughs> why, why, I'll take know, him to I, a play place. I didn't place. sign up for this. I didn't sign up for my uh, my wife, you know, take taking like her ex boyfriend's children and borrowing them for the weekend right. all the time. Right. Please You're welcome insane. Megan's ex, insane. Mike, to the show. Mike, come on out. Come on, sit yeah. over here. You really, you really have to grow up. You married a person that has children. Yes. Whether they're my children or somebody else's children. I married children. someone with one she, child. Yeah, and she's a god parent to my other child. Well, we don't need your children over all the time, you know, <laughs> on weekends. Mike, are you no, sleeping wait, with her? Take your own no, children on vacation. Don't let me really take your children on vacation, is, huh? Really? Learn how to trust your wife. Mm -hmm. I do. I don't you want to trust. I do trust no Megan. To trust I don't trust you. Yeah, so what? What's I, his I, motivations? I, do you think? What are his motivations? I don't know. The guy's a serial cheater. No, He's never been loyal. Yeah, no. He doesn't have a loyal bone ball. in his body. Ball. I don't trust him. We have her lie detector test and a lot more. Stay right there. <laughs> yeah.
For your free tickets to see the Bill Cunningham Show live in New York City, go to BillCunninghamShow.com or call 888-710-8425 now. It's time for you to take control and give my guests some tough love. How would you resolve the issue? Today's about twisted affairs, and I'm going to read the lie detector test results in about three or four minutes. As I understand it, you two are together a whole bunch. Do you look for reasons to be with Megan? My no, not at all. Because you're together on the house, the sheetrock, the plumbing. You'll call her, this is going wrong, this going wrong. I'm doing it because he won't go there and help her. He she won't. A, he, he won't. He, she needs Why'd you let her buy it? you a house? She bought a house. Me and her were working on it. I was looking for a new place to live. She asked me if I would take it. It's yeah. money for her. And it's a roof for me and my kids. Yeah. Yes. And we fix it up really and nice. And it's a good way for you to be connected to Megan for a I long have, time. No, I have a connection with Megan. And that's my daughter. Adamant that we have a 19-year-old connection. Oh, really? No. Explain, we we could have rented it to anyone. And possibly no, even couldn't. gotten more money. No, we Well, maybe because, because she, she could, could trust it has to be me. Mike. She said it's got to be Mike. It's got to be Mike. I Mike Well, because I trust him. And plus, we don't need a rental permit if you... Rent a family, and my daughter's name's on the house too. Well, That's you gotta do it. You just go down and get a permit. permit. You pay thirty-five dollars. You get you poof. You got a rental permit. Yeah, but then you don't know who's <laughs> gonna rent the house. You don't know if they're gonna. Destroy what do you it. do with the house if it's proven that she is sleeping with him? What happens to the house today? Uh, if she's sleeping with him, I'm gone. I'm moving to Vegas. I'm out of here. You're, you're, you're out. out. It's over. You're Vegas. Oh, God, you're not I know that you're not sleeping with him. But I'm the lie detector test right there. Megan, we asked you three questions. Yes. How many years you two been married? Uh, All told? About ten. 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 How many years were you married? How many years were you two together before that? Two and a half years. Two and a half. Yeah. And every time you see Mikey Jr., you see Mikey in his eyes. I do not. No, That's Mikey what you Jr. Said. is way cuter. All right, let's, no. yeah. <laughs> we asked you only three questions. Megan. Yes. While being married to Dave. Have you had any sexual relations with your ex, Mike? You said no, and that was a lie. Oh! What the oh! Get the hell out of here. It's lie. a lie in capital letters. Let's go, number that's two. Why, that's only one question, though, babe. Yeah. Number two, when you and Dave were apart, mm -hmm. did you actually have sexual contact with Mike during that hiatus? You said no. And that was a lie. Are you kidding? Uh, no. yeah. It says lie. And number three. <laughs> bold letters right hey, there. Number three, have you had sexual relations with anyone since you have been remarried to Dave? You said no. And that was a lie. Lie, 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 lie. Where do I go? It's wrong. Where do I go? Las Vegas. See you in Las Vegas. See you in Vegas. You no. swore up and down. Oh my God! Yeah, the lie detector it's not. test is going to lie detect the test. No. Is going to it's not put accurate. all your Mike, you've done Why said. do you think I would come no. here? Mike. Uh, uh, no, no, no. I work way too much. You work too much. No. I only time that I've had any alone time with her, which wasn't really alone time. You know what's time, going on, right? Was with her when we were doing the house, and he was calling every 15 minutes. No. You had plumbing problems, and you would call Megan over for the plumbing. No. Yeah. No. Done. No. no. Las Vegas. I'm done. Las Vegas. Here I come. Las Vegas. I'm out of here. I'm sorry. Have a seat. We'll be back with more. Stay right there. We're coming back. Are you suspicious a loved one is lying to you? Do you want to give them a free lie detector test to get to the truth? Contact me at BillCunninghamShow.com. Call me at 1-855-US-BILL or text guest at 95902. Message and data rates may apply. How about giving us a call right now? There's been more fireworks here today than the July 4th wedding. Shattered relationships are everywhere. They're on the floor. But to sort everything out, put the pieces maybe back together, is relationship expert Donna Barnes. Donna Barnes, welcome. Thanks. Now, Donna, before I turn over to Javante, Javante, you have a choice to make. You have to your right Honey and you have Josh. And you've been with Honey for three years, Josh for two. Their two are both 
best friends together and you kept the secret affair from Honey for the last three years. If you had to choose, Javante, between Josh and Honey, who would you choose today? I'm going to go on with Josh. <gasps> is humiliation for honey well, explain where honey is right now because those two are together well i would imagine honey feels incredibly betrayed but th to me there's just a lot of selfishness going on i mean if you two decide you want to be together that's all well and good but be honest about it and be up front why has poor honey had to be through this for two years thinking that it was something that it wasn't. And, and as, as her best friend, that trumps everything. You know, that it's like friendship is big. best friend, like, Not and, and sexual relationships will come and go, but your friends right. will be there forever. And it's right. like, now I, you've damaged I've a lifelong trying, relationship. I've wanted to bring you. I'm glad that we came here, but I, I don't feel like I was I mean, able I, to I just acknowledge don't wanna, to I don't want to fight it no more. I mean... All right, it's over I, with them. I, Donna, I, I, turn I, I, to your I, I, left. We got this other terrible situation where it appears that the prince, the stepson, has sexual contact oh, no, no, with a vanda, or maybe in their minds they committed a wrongful act. But where does where does Martin go from here? Well, I, like honestly, if you want to try to save the relationship, I understand that he's your stepson, but he is an adult, so oh, that's he, dead. He, he good. He, he needs he good. to live somewhere he else. He kick rocks. He good. He, yeah, good. Yeah, he should not be living with you. Now, as far as me and my wife go. Man, we're gonna have to work. We're gonna have to work. How about some counseling? I mean, some counseling. That, yeah. I mean, because regardless of it, the lie detector test said, okay, there was That's a lie. Wrong. The test, you know, I know I got a beautiful wife. I'm gonna be happy with what I got and just go from there. God, I'm gonna, I'm like gonna have to just work yeah. on it. Accept her, whatever the peccadilloes, whatever their mistakes were, <laughs> you just move on. They're adults. And he did the same thing in the first year of the marriage, so you can't criticize her for the behavior you engage in. Well, oh, hold on, no, 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 no. That was, I mean, but that was in the past. That's the, past in the past can't come to the future. Future, all right. Right, you see what I'm except that the oh. past does tend to I mean, so if I did it, if I did it, she so. did it, okay, cool. We even. You're even. I mean, but. But it's not a competition, it's so it's not right. like. Let's move on to test. Dave and Megan and Mike. <clears throat> I guess I'll say to you, Dave, where do you go? What do you think? Vegas? Vegas? Vegas. Vegas. And Megan, I. There's no admission on your part at all. In no, fact, you came here. I didn't here. do anything. You didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. And Mike, you're saying it didn't happen. No. Is there a possible counseling, get together, talking? No. Because other than that, there's other a reason than, I had suspicions. And it turns out I was right. Other than the LDT, there's a little bit of a relationship problem anyway, right? Donna, what, what can you do if, if we. The LDT, she denies completely, but there was problems before that. Well, yeah, to the core of this relationship, and you see it a lot where people get divorced and then they still really had an affinity for each other and they get back together. But if you don't really do work and change something significant, nothing changes if nothing changes. So it's like you just got some distance and then you came back. But the reason you broke up in the first place is still there. So without counseling and a real attempt to make change to your personality, then she's the same person she was the first time you left her and he's the same person you know what I mean so it's like you really you need to make a conscious choice to do things differently or you're gonna keep getting the same result and you can't have constant tension I understand that you have a, a, a child together but that child's now an adult so the amount that you co-parent it becomes less when they're an adult. And yes, it's great that you're friendly, and it's great that you're, you're cordial and you're part of each other's lives, but you don't have to be, like, intimately involved. And if they're renting the house, then let them you, hire somebody to manage the house for you. You right. don't have to be involved. When we continue the bottom line, for more info, go to the website, BillCunninghamShow.com. <laughs> comes to sneaking sex behind your lover's back, here's the bottom line. If you're in love, there should never, ever be a reason to be intimate with somebody else. And if you've fallen out of love, show some respect and tell your mate face to face. Because sneaking around behind a loved one's back is rude, crude, and totally unacceptable. I want to thank